Hi, I'm Patrick. I hope you're having a great weekend. Today is August 4th. In 25 years of teaching English to university students and adults, I have seen that prepositions are confusing. It takes a lot of studying and practice to learn how to use them correctly. That's why we review prepositions every day as part of our daily news lesson. You will be fluent using English prepositions in no time. Please subscribe to my channel and start learning English from a professional. My lessons take about 15 minutes a day. Let's get started with today's news headlines. Number one, an Israeli airstrike in the occupied West Bank killed a Hamas commander and four others. Number two, the U.S. Secretary of Defense has reversed plea agreements for the accused 911 defendants. Number three, United Kingdom police readied for more far-right protests across England. Number four, thousands of people are rallying in the streets of Venezuela's capital. And number five, Donald Trump says he'll skip an ABC debate with Kamala Harris. Please don't forget to subscribe and let's get to it. An Israeli airstrike in the occupied West Bank killed a Hamas commander and four others on Saturday. The militant group's media reported and the Israeli military said it had killed four more gunmen in a separate strike. Reuters correspondent Lauren Anthony reports. The Israeli military said the first airstrike hit a vehicle near the city of Tulkarm, targeting a militant cell it says was on its way to carry out an attack. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad groups claimed the other four men involved there as its fighters. Hours later, a second Israeli strike targeted another group of armed militants who Israel's military says had fired on troops. It added that forces had killed four more gunmen in that strike during what it described as a counter-terrorism operation in Tulkarm. The Palestinian Health Ministry said five men had been killed in the first strike, and news agency Wafa said four people died in the second. Region-wide tensions soared this week after Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh was killed in Tehran on Wednesday. Israel neither claimed nor denied responsibility for the incident. Reuters correspondent Lauren Anthony. The U.S. Secretary of Defense has overridden plea agreements for the accused 9-11 mastermind and two other defendants. AP correspondent Norman Hall has more. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin overrode a plea agreement reached earlier this week for the accused mastermind of the September 11, 2001 attacks and two other defendants, reinstating them as death penalty cases. The action comes two days after the military commission at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, announced it had reached plea deals with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and two accused accomplices in the attacks. Some families of the attack's victims condemned the deal for cutting off any possibility of full trials and possible death penalties. Republicans were quick to fault the Biden administration for the deal, although the White House said after it was announced it had no knowledge of it. Norman Hall, Washington. For additional stories, visit voanews.com. This is VOA News. United Kingdom police readied Saturday for more far-right protests across England after a third night of rioting linked to misinformation about a mass stabbing that killed three young girls. AP correspondent Rika Ann Garcia reports. Four officers were hospitalized after a tense standoff outside a mosque in northeast England. The protests over the past few days have seemingly erupted after a 17-year-old was arrested over a stabbing rampage at a dance class that left three girls dead and several wounded. False rumors spread online about the young man's identity. A judge in court in Liverpool has ordered Axel Rudakubana to be identified in part to stop the spread of misinformation. Rudakubana was born in Wales to Rwandan parents. Demonstrations are expected over the next few days, including in Belfast, Cardiff, Liverpool and Manchester. Rika and Garcia, London. Thousands of people are rallying in the streets of Venezuela's capital in support of an opposition candidate they believe won the presidential election by a landslide. The government has declared President Nicolas Maduro the winner of last Sunday's poll, but have yet to produce voting tallies to prove he won. Opposition leaders say tally sheets they obtained 
From polling centers nationwide show Maduro clearly lost. The government arrested hundreds of opposition supporters who protested on Monday, and the president and his cadres have threatened to lock up opposition leader Maria Corina Machado and her hand-picked presidential candidate, Edmundo Gonzalez. Donald Trump says he'll skip an ABC debate with Kamala Harris in September and wants them to face off on Fox News. AP correspondent Jackie Quinn has more. In a social media post, former President Donald Trump says he agreed to a debate with President Biden on ABC, not with Kamala Harris, and earlier in the week inserted a dig against her at a black journalist convention. You know what? She failed her law exam. She didn't pass her law exam, so maybe she well, wouldn't pass the cognitive uh, test. Also Wednesday, Vice President Harris challenged him to keep the September date. Because as the saying goes, if you got something to say, say it to my face. These differing plans, though, seem to make it increasingly unlikely the candidates will confront one another face to face before the November election. I'm Jackie Quinn. Simone Biles and Katie Ledecky led a strong showing for, for the United States at the Paris Olympics as both Americans added to their gold medal collection on day eight of the Games. Biles won her seventh gold and tenth overall medal by winning the vault. She has now won three golds in Paris. Ledecky joined Michael Phelps as the only swimmers to win an event at four straight summer games. Taking the 800-meter freestyle for the fourth time, Ledecky won her ninth Olympic race to match four others for second in any games.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.